shit ain't shot. I've been eating, saying these niggas want me to go on the um. If I get locked the day of tomorrow, I know the room ain't silent. Niggas tripping, I just Human. know they want me to get. The way we are designed. The way we were created. We are biological computers, right? And let me explain what I mean by biological computers. A computer is nothing without the software, right? And hardware, right? And then there's the information that we download, right? And from downloads, connect to Wi-Fi, we can upload. So in other words, humans can take in information, process it, and hand it out, right? All the social experiments done over time since the internet. At first, propaganda was spread through newspapers and the radio. And we've seen through history the power that had to influence people. And then there was the television. Now we could see. Now we're taking visual downloads from audio to visual downloads. And we're downloading all this information. It's helping us shape our thought process. Growing up, from taking these downloads, you would think every Asian person knew karate. Because when you turn on Channel 54, they're doing karate. And when you turn on the, the 9 o'clock news, what do you see? Black men doing things, committing crimes. Faced all plastered everywhere. Now we're taking these downloads in. So we knew that audio downloads had the way to influence us. And, of course, visual. Think about our music, right? The hip-hop music that posed it in poetry. You know, it was a way for us to express our life experiences and the things that we was actually living or, you know, stuff that we seen people doing. All right? And that was a ways of means to people to start understanding our story, our point of view, right? So now we're uploading, we're giving out information, and what else the younger generation is doing? They're downloading it. And the sad thing about this is that you start to see what has happened to our young generation, the males, the men, the propaganda. Now... You got the young guys that's making music that's supposed to be poetry, expressing our art form and our way of life. And now it's just kill, 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 murder, murder, murder. And when you turn around, you see these images of the grown-ups waving guns around. And in turn, they upload that information. The kids download that. Boom. You know what they're doing? Following those exact footsteps and waving guns around. And then you got art imitating life and the other way around. Now you see it in the streets more. Because everybody wasn't a killer. Everybody wasn't a shooter. They just wasn't. It happened, but everybody wasn't. Now, through social experiments, social engineering, we know that people will take downloads and they'll follow the, proper, the pro popular opinion. Think about all the challenges back when people just had Facebook before it was Instagram, and now you got TikTok. People was actually lighting themselves on fire. A person with common sense to say, yo, there's something wrong with them. But yet, people follow suit and start letting themselves on fire. So what happens? We know it works. So we know if we show you something, you're going to imitate it. So then you start seeing the way people decide to have sex all everywhere. Right? Which is not a problem. That's a personal thing. But the point I'm getting at is all to normalize things. So you see dead people, dead black people, dead white people, just people in general. I ain't even trying to make it about race. But you you don't even bat an eye now because you so used to seeing it is normalized, right? So in turn, a lot of us accept behavior. So if you see people waving guns around or just doing things that it's not really appropriate because we see it so much, you get de desensitized and in turn it becomes normalized, right? So where am I going with all this, right? You know, I just be on the internet just like anybody else. Sometimes I get lost in my phone. And um, 
I came across a female rapper. Her name's Sexy Red. So I'm not really hip to the new generation or whatever, but um, I heard the song. Let me show you. I'm gonna play this clip of what I heard, right? Let's see. Let's 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 um play this clip first. And I'm just gonna play a snippet. I'm out of town, thugging with my round, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Where the niggas come looking for the hole? Quit playing, nigga, cause that's a big soul. Do you know, all right, the beat is hard, it's fire, music is hypnotizing. It is. But when you listen to what they're saying, people learn certain to start repeating it. Look how this woman is talking, right? What do we know? It worked on the men, right? And you see what happened to the men with this criminal killer, killer, thug, thug music? Where's everybody at, dead or in jail, it works. It's not to take away from the circumstances that we live in. Because these circumstances always exist, especially for us. And we found ways to maneuver around it and still come out successful. But now that we know that social engineering works, we keep pumping this stuff and making it the face. And our kids are absorbing all this. Right? And not to mention, not only that, the men are becoming feminized. They are. They're becoming feminized. Prime example. Let me um pull this clip. Hold on. this a little bit whose son is this whose son is that now I'm not going to like deep dive into it and make it to a big thing but the point I'm trying to make it is again you see when we see stuff we've seen that type of dancing before so not only in this gender neutral world we're taking all these downloads but men are taking women downloads and women and men are taking women downloads so we all out of pocket. Do you know online is an actually a actual pound town challenge? When we just talking about challenges, some of the original social experience experiments when they started social media, letting itself on fire, we know it works. Two years though, artists in the industry, hopefully somebody will do a challenge with one of their songs to draw more attention to it. Because they know the game. That's the formula. So. So you look at the men. In our society. They're being feminized. Being killed. Going to prison. Lack of education. All these things. Poverty. And that's not to say all the men. But enough of them. Right. But look at the women. Most enrolled in college. The most this. The most that. They're doing great. So guess what? It's time to bring them down too. So now you look at the women in their 30s and 40s, mid-30s, 40s, and not to take away from any younger women, but they're doing great. These are the ones that they we're basing all these stats on. This the most uh, educated, the most enrolled in college and all these different things and other great things. Shout out to them. But at this rate of social engineering, Hold on, let me show you another video. Cause this is this is this is the image that that your daughters that your daughters is taking and this is the downloads. Right? This is the download they taking in. <laughs> I'm going to say this And I'm, I'm not really trying to pick on them too Right It's just that You know They're being pushed 
And it's not to say that their struggle is not unique and not genuine and that they're trying to get out their circumstances. However, you got to question when it comes to us, when it comes to our males and our females, what they try to push the most, a Nicki Minaj. We hear her, Nicki Minaj, Minaj a trois. We get a Cardi B. They keep feeding us and putting up in the forefront, like this is the culture, degenerate behavior for our kids to download and process. Y'all just think about that. And and again, man, this is not no shot to them. This is not personal. I, I hate that I have to use them for example, but I am because women are under attack. Y'all said black men don't take, don't defend y'all. Right now, I'm just trying to put y'all on point. Put everybody on point. Because we are taking in these downloads every day. And everybody ain't have the life experience to have the antivirus that we have. To be able to cipher through it. And it's not to say that adults can't listen to music. And, you know, but, you know, it is not to say that you watch a scary movie. You can't, you know, you can have your, you could have you're against the rap and whatever, but it's like when we dealing with these kids and where we at as a people, I just think we just don't need it. When you look at the numbers overall compared to other groups, we need to change the culture. It's not a bad culture, but we can't let the bottom culture be the face of our culture because the kids need something else to look up to. These kids need to learn to get out here and learn how to compete for jobs. All the people you voting for that keep telling you, yeah, you know, let's make 50 a passing grade. You know, oh, let's start school. You know, let's change the hours that the kids got to be to school at 10 o'clock. Because, you know, you know they, they, they not smart enough to get up on time. All these ideas been entertained, if not passed in certain states, when it comes to people that look like you and me. What they really saying is that you dumb and you not smart enough. And at the end of the day, that's not the standard they're going to have for their kids. They're going to make sure they got the discipline. They're going to make sure they're not listening to that that nigga music, or they know better that this is fake. It's not going to be their real life. But your kids, no, they're going to be squeegee boys or working at Walmart. And there's nothing against being a squeegee boy at Walmart. Yo, we are getting stuck at starter jobs. We get stuck at starter jobs because we don't have no skills. We don't have no education. And by the time, you know, we get into life and get stuck in the house and stuck with bills. We really can't afford to go to school or just stop what we're doing. So that's not a shot. But I'm just pointing out the facts. But that's going to be your kids. And they you know what dumb people who lower these standards and push this stuff, guess what they never got to worry about? Your kids competing for the same jobs that their kids competing. Think about that. So it might be cute. You go on the internet and you search kids singing Pound Town and all this, that, and the third. Um. Yeah, guess how? Guess who they look like? You. You think about that. It's almost like cocking a gun back, putting it in your mouth, cause that's what we doing. So, and I'm not really trying to like drag these women, but what I'm trying to put out there is that we have to watch the information we take in, and we see. We've been living long enough to see, especially if you're in your 30s and your 40s, and your 50s, you've been living long enough to see that the stuff that we put out there, how it affects our kids. We got, we got 10, 11, 12-year-old rappers waving, stand, standing in front of the store rapping, making music videos, smoking weed, getting high, talking about how life is. How it's so, so bad and they just lost a homie. So if they 10, 11, 12, nine times out of 10, they parents in their 30s. So what that says about them, we have to end the cycle with this. Again, we watched it work. It worked on me. I, I could speak to this because I'm a product of it. And now I'm seeing it done again. They are, it worked on the men, and now they're working on the women. Y'all next. It's a big bullseye on your head. Most enrolled, most educated, most this, most that. Now y'all about to get shot down. They about to cut you at the legs. Because know who this is for? It's not you. Because you could, you could listen to this and not fall victim. But not your daughters. This that murder music. 
Menace in my city, I ain't heard of you Bitch, I'm in the Guinness, we got all the coups Everything in motion, he got pinks and blues, hog time Kill him all, no survivor We want all the guys, we call all the shots and cut our ties We a carpet down, came up out of public housing Private just we coming, anything we wanted Always was the freshest, just recorded Never shot at Target, we got perks and mileage, we the zombies This little shot of horror, I just made some racks today off cars This the travel, we take off, ain't no better way, no laws We got gas that's been so fast, it break your neck and then it cast away Catch your breath and set the stakes Target. I'm you niggas cousin and your father, Arthur and the artist, grip on the